For the last 20 years, the Incredible Dog Challenge has traveled the country in search of incredible dogs. From coast to coast and around the world, incredible dogs have showcased their ability to jump, weave, and dive into our hearts and homes. And it all began here, just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. Join us as we continue the tradition as Purina Farms hosts the 20th anniversary of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge National Championship Finals. Beautiful sunny day here at Purina Farms, a perfect stage and setting for the 20th anniversary of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Hey everyone and welcome to Purina Farms. Great crowd on hand here. I'm Trace, we're going to be joined by Shaleen Cockrell for the National Championship Finals of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. We're also here to celebrate 20 years of incredible dog, Shalane. Oh, I know, and it has been such a journey. We have held events from coast to coast. We've had specialty competitions in the snow and cold, and as part of the outdoor adventure. We've also taken our canine Olympics and held it in venues around the Olympic Games in Whistler, Canada and Sydney, Australia. Not only that, but we've had demonstration events that have showcased all the other amazing things that dogs can do. But as you said, Trace, today it's all about the national champion titles that are on the line in our five core events. Large and small dog agility, diving dog, Jack Russell hurdle racing, 30 weave up and back, fetch it, and the incredible freestyle flying disc event. All right, and we're gonna have some fun rolling in some historic clips celebrating the past 20 years of the incredible dog challenge. But first, let's get to our first event, large dog agility, Shalene. That's right. Large dog agility. It's a race against the clock through a set course of obstacles. If mistakes are made, then time penalties are assessed. Our competitors are ready, so let's get straight to the action. All right, the first of five competitors to take to the course here in the large dog agility competition. It is Shane Miller and his dog, Luna, a six-year-old Belgian Malinois, Shaleen. They competed in our Eastern Regional event in St. Petersburg, Florida earlier this year. Belgian Malinois are high drive herding dogs, so they're similar to the Border Collie, smart and always wanting to work. Very efficient on the agility course, claims Shane of Luna. Efficiency is key to large dog agility. Absolutely, everything has to be in play here. The communication, quickness between obstacles, executing each obstacle correctly. It all matters to get that fast time, Trace. Shane works as a telecommunications engineer. He lives on 2.6 acres of land, so they have a lot of room to play and build courses as they come through with 10 faults. 47.27 is their time. And those 10 faults came here on the A-frame as Luna jumped off too quickly, not touching that yellow contact zone, which is required on the exit of those obstacles. Great team here. One of my favorites, Shalene, Anita Tipton and her dog, Patty. Anita Tipton, 75 years young. They are three-time Eastern Regional Champions over the past few years. Every time they competed, they won it. 2014, 2016, and 2017. Can they add a national championship title to that resume? She does such a nice job directing Patty through this obstacle course. And it is all about teamwork. The dogs don't know where they're going, and we're going to see that same mistake again coming off of the A-frame. That happens a lot, Trace, when the dogs are doing running contacts where they don't slow down to touch that yellow contact zone. But if they get going too fast, they can miss it. It's a combination. You want to be fast, but you also have to be efficient enough to not make those mistakes. Sometimes slowing it down a little bit helps. But they don't want to do that because every fraction of a second counts in this competition, so they've got to push it. Well, the 10 seconds added on gives them 47.55. Here's where it all went wrong. With that running contact, you can see Patty already looking to Anita and just jumps off the A-frame too early. Next to go, Shelly Vandeveldi and her dog Sprite, the eight-year-old Border Collie. They come to us by way of San Diego, California. Shelly, a youngster, very quick dog in Sprite. 
Yes, very quick. And a great story here, Trace. Her first Purina event was the Western Regionals in Huntington Beach, but she's been dreaming about this. Oh, but not dreaming about that mistake yeah. right there. But she's been dreaming about this since she was eight years old when she first saw the Incredible Dog Challenge on TV. So Sprite's her first dog that she's actually competed with. Great through the weave poles. Former soccer player as a youngster, and then she also runs a couple marathons. I caught up with her earlier. Well, you got to be in shape. As you can see, all of the handlers out here on the course having to run and keep up with their dogs for that communication. Oh, another bar down. Just when you're so quick, it's easy for those mistakes to happen. And those mistakes and faults for Shelly and Sprite. 10 seconds added on, 50.56. Just look how long, look how far back Sprite starts into those jumps, getting over, but the knee knocks the bar down. Two competitors remain here in Large Dog Agility. This is Toby and Alicia Calhoun Malloy, the eight-year-old Border Collie, another Border Collie taking to this course. Now these were our champions from our Western Regional event. We saw her years and years ago at the very beginning of the IDC, but she's been competing internationally now with Toby for six years. So she's hoping that experience will give them a little bit of an advantage here. Well, so far, no competitor has made it through totally clean. So we'll see if this team will be the first to do that. So far, so good. Again, the dogs don't know where they're going out on this course. It is purely up to the handler to give direction, either by body positioning, hand commands, or verbal cues. And they got through clean, Trace. Zero faults. That is how you do it in large dog agility. 37.11 new leaders. Very nicely done. Going through those weaves in large dog style, where they do a one step through each pole. Great height, getting over the jumps. Tight turns, everything done just right. Here is your 2015 national champions. They were second last year here at nationals. Notch is the dog. Amber McCune is the handler. Amber says that Notch has amazing speed, accuracy, and a desire to win. They got to have a big desire. 37-1-1 is the time to beat. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to go fast out here. But this is definitely a quick dog. And the dogs have to be quick not only in executing the obstacles, but their ground speed going between each obstacle matters as well. That acceleration, totally key in agility. Picking up the pace here a little bit. Looking good, Shaleen. It's a clean run so far. Coming into the last stretch of obstacles. Can they do it? Boom, yes. zero faults, their time. 38.09, just shy. Not quite enough. They take seconds, which means Toby and Alicia Calhoun Malloy are the champions, and they are in the field with Sean Smith. Yeah, that's right. I'm hanging out with the national champion, and let's talk about the hat. That's what I want to know about. That thing is old. You've been here a while. Tell us about that. This hat was the hat I earned when I came here in 2000 with my Australian Shepherd, Sunny. We took third place, and when I came packing for this trip, I was like, you know what? We're going to bring all the luck we can. Well, that is the new lucky hat. Two cleaned runs, very, very fast. And as I mentioned, first time national championship title for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congratulations. 20 years Incredible Dog Challenge. Congratulations, loving the lucky hat there. Just getting things rolling here from Purina Farms. The Jack Russells are ready to race next, followed by the 30 Weave Up and Back competition before freestyle flying disc, small dog agility, then into the Purina pool for Fetch It and Incredible Diving Dogs. A lot coming your way. Stick around. The Incredible Dog Challenge National Championship Finals are brought to you by Purina Pro Plan. Nutrition that performs. Continues to be a beautiful day as we celebrate 20 years of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. No better location for that than the beautiful farm as Shaleen tees up our next event. It's fast and furious fun where anything can happen. Six Jack Russell Terriers with their sights set on catching the lure make a mad dash over three jumps. The first Jack to make it through the tunnel at the end is the one that wins. Get ready for Jack Russell hurdle racing. 
All right, this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, the top two dogs will advance per heat. In heat number one, that features Moondoggy, the Eastern Regional Champion, Shamrocket, Diodora, Ames, Mints, and Justice. This is the event where anything is possible. And they're off out in front. Oh, a big mix up going over the second hurdle. It's Moondoggy coming across and through the tunnel with the win. But Moondoggy was not the first out of the gate. Diodora was first over that first hurdle, but then Moondoggy takes it all the way to the finish, followed by Justice and Mins. Heat number two features our Western Regional Champion in Upsharaz. Rybe, Scout, Dandy Bear, Popstar, and Molly will battle it out. Again, top two advance. And out of the gate, Rybe in the red collar out in front. Oh, but here comes Upsharaz. And a last second <laughs> mix up on that finish. That was crazy. Rybe in the front all the way to the third hurdle. But look at Upsharaz right here, neck and neck. And then a surge of energy puts him through the tunnel, followed by Rybe. All right, heat number three. The finals are almost set. Defending national champion Draco is featured here. King, Leah, Yeti, Case, and Blanca. Two more will make the final heat. Who will it be? Here we go. Right now, it could be anyone's race. Pressure is on. King and Draco battling it out <laughs> nice. and just squeaking by with the lead. Our returning national champion takes this heat, followed by King. They will both advance. So Draco and King advance and make the final heat. Now a national champion will be decided here in Jack Russell Hurdle Racing. Who will it be? Moondocky, Diodora, Upsharaz, Ryby, Draco, and King. This is stacked with talent. Well, I know Draco's handlers are definitely wanting a repeat win here today. Can it happen? Out of the gate, Draco in the lead. Over the third jump and into the tunnel, he does it. Followed by King and Upsharaz. A two-time national title going to Draco. Out of the gate, he took the lead and kept it all the way through the finish, even though he had a lot of pressure from King going through the tunnel. Congrats. A great race, back-to-back -back wins for Draco, and the Shivers are with Sean. That's right, you guys, we have the father-daughter team running, and this is your second national championship title. I mean, talk about today and that great win. Um, it was very exciting. Um, he did a wonderful job. All the dogs did a wonderful job. Um, we just can't be any happier. Well, I'll tell you what, Natalie, the lucky lure girl, pulls the lure across, and you guys get the victory again. What a great dog. What a great event. The cleanest Jack Russell racing I have ever seen. And with that, congratulations to you. You're a national championship title holder. We'll throw it back to you guys. That's right, Sean. Two champions now crowned. Five to go here from St. Louis and Purina Farms. The 30 weave up and back is next, followed by freestyle flying disc, small dog agility, then fetch it and diving dogs. A lot more on tap from Purina Farms and the national championship finals of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Check this out, taking a look back 20 years ago, the fly ball competition from St. Louis. A lot of fun, and Shalene was able to add more color to the history when she caught up with a special guest. Animal in a River City. It's going to be River City. And Trace, I'm here with someone who was in that first event. Craig, tell us about your journey over the past 20 years in the IDC. Well, 20 years ago, I was in fly ball. Uh, did it for four or five years in, in IDC. So now I'm back with uh, diving dogs. I'm really excited. I qualified yesterday with my little dog, and it's just as exciting now as it was back 20 years ago. Lots of longevity. Good luck to you today. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, awesome. Looking forward to seeing him in the diving dog competition as we get ready for our next race. It's a head-to-head -head race where focus and determination are key. 30 weaves down with a 180-degree tunnel turn and 30 weaves back. The first dog to complete the course and cross the finish line is the one that wins. Get ready for 30 weave up and back. All right, you can see to the left-hand side, the quarterfinals. Now we're ready for the semis. Ren and Lyric, and then Iggy versus Pixel here in our 30 weave up and back competition. So we'll start it off with Lyric and Cindy Glover versus Ren and Betsy Lynch in this 30 weave up and back competition. It happens quick, Shaleen. Here we go. And they are off. On the top of your screen, Lyric, the Pyrenean Shepherd, is two years old. On the bottom, the Papillon is five years old. And they're out of the weaves. 
neck and neck coming out of the tunnels, but into the weaves first, Wren, but this is close. The pressure's on. Wren picking up the speed. No mistakes across the finish line. Wren will advance. That's what you like to see, a close race. The pressure was on head to head all the way down the first set of 30 weaves and in and out of the tunnel with an exciting finish. And of course, Wren going on. All right, we will see who will take on Wren right here. It is Iggy versus Pixel. Iggy, a miniature poodle. Pixel, a mini American Shepherd. And Pixel is our 2016 national champion in small dog agility. All of these dogs usually do agility because they have to know how to work these obstacles, the weaves and the tunnels. But what's different is there's six or 12 in agility. Here it's 30. This is a tight one. Tight, tight, tight. And who's it gonna be? This might be a photo finish. <laughs> I'm not sure from our angle there that we could see it. So let's take a look coming into the finish. You can see Iggy about a dog length ahead. Wow, a surge there at the end by Pixel, but first nose across the finish line, our miniature poodle. <laughs> All right, so Ren and Iggy in the final, but first we will settle the third place spot between Lyric and Pixel. So we have our Pyrenean Shepherd versus our mini American Shepherd Pixel. Quick start getting into the weaves and look at that speed. Pixel just increasing the distance in and out of the tunnel and back into the weaves first. If she stays focused and on track, this is easily going to be Pixel's win. Oh! oh. <laughs> Misses a pole at the end. They're going to have to go back and correct. So Lyric takes the win. Got to hang in there to the end. You do. That focus has to be on every single pole. And Pixel just jumps out of the line too soon, missing that final weave. But Lyric stays focused and on track. And Lyric on the podium. Iggy and Terry Herman will take on Ren and Betsy Lynch for a national championship. Our Papillon, Ren, on the top of your screen. Iggy, the miniature poodle, on the bottom of the screen. A great running start in a head-to-head -head race, getting into the weave poles. This is going to be a very tight matchup. Out of the tunnels. Oh. Neck and neck. Each handler encouraging, but you can see Ren pulling forward and taking nice. the title. <laughs> Ren hanging with it the entire way. The little Papillon taking a big win. Again, that running start was great with both of the dogs jumping into the weaves, and they just kept that energy and momentum going all the way throughout the race to the finish line. So Betsy Lynch and Wren, the national champion. So Sean Smith, a fun race between two great breeds. Yeah, guys, what a great race. And who would have thought in the finals of an athletic dog competition that we have a mini poodle going against a Papillon and the Papillon getting the win. I mean, congratulations on that. Talk about that race. Thank you, it was a great race. Iggy and I raced against each other in both of the practice rounds yesterday. So I knew Iggy was an awesome dog. She is an awesome dog and I had a feeling it would be very close. Well, talk about your dog. I mean, so athletic. You don't think that when you look at a Papillon. Uh, Papillon's a very athletic little dog. She's got a ton of game. She loves it. The weaves are her favorite obstacle. You can see how she's wearing to go at the start line. And they'll just do anything you want and be happy to do it. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You have your first national championship title. That was great. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Uh, Purina Farms, just a short 45-minute drive from downtown St. Louis, a farm very rich in history. In 2010, the Purina Event Center was built, 8,400 square feet, accommodating many dog and cat shows. And the Visitors and Pet Center features educational displays, videos that help visitors understand pets and nutrition. Demonstrations, of course, from the Pro Plan Performance Team take place on a daily basis. Not only dogs hang out at the farm, but a lot of cats and a lot of different animals. Always fun to check out Purina Farms. For more, go to Purina.com. So we hope you visit the farm as we continue with our national championship finals and our next competition. It's a choreographed routine set to music where aerial maneuvers and jaw-dropping tricks are the name of the game. This is the only event where both the dog and handler are judged with a possible 50 points each. Get ready for freestyle flying disc. All right, highlights from earlier rounds coming all the way from China. It is Hu Nayu and Hu Long doing a great job, Shaleen. 
with 37.8 as the dog performance handler 44.5 and they get a total of 82.3 before Marino and Chris Knapp. That's right, Chris working with his five-year-old border collie. The home team coming out of St. Louis got involved with the sport to try and tame Marino's energy. Nice performance, 81.8. Marino, a rescue dog, and here's Loot and Ron Watson. They got busy here catching some air, Shaleen. That's right, he was one of our qualifiers. About 15 people camped out to have a chance to compete here today, and he got one of the spots. And he got 79.8 for a score. So the qualifiers coming out and nailing it there before DJ Pan and Blanco Kim took to the field from South Korea. So much fun watching this pair. Different moves, creativity, bringing that international flair. The dog had 40.6 for a score, the handler 42.7, so a total of 83.3 liters so far. More discs coming up, but first let's head down to the field where Shaleen is with the Western Regional Champions. I'm here with Kirby McElveen, a seasoned competitor. You've been at the IDC for the past eight years. A lot of tough competition out here today. What do you think it's gonna be like? Um, I think it's gonna be tough. You know, it's bright today, it's a little bit breezy. So um, whoever, whoever throws it down today, seriously, is going to have to have some skills to compete in this. Ah, uh, check it out, Shaleen. Lourdes Edlin bringing us back 20 years ago, electrifying the field in 1998. So exciting to see her here with her dog, Skylar. Really a lot of skill and talent, and she's taken that with us on this journey for the entire 20 years. She is now a judge. You can see her here on is. the sidelines, judging today's freestyle flying disc competition at the National Championship Finals as we continue now with our next competitor. Lourdes does such a nice job. Hocus Pocus is the dog. Ellie Stivers is the handler here, the five-year-old Australian cattle dog mix. Once again, the top score to beat, 83.3 by DJ Pan and Blanco Kim. Well, this pair competed in our Western Regionals, and this really is all about teamwork. As we mentioned, the scoring is split. 50 points for the handler, 50 points for the dog. You're seeing some great tricks out here. Good vault moves. They want to work inside and close, as well as showing that the dog can work the field and catch those discs, Trace. You have to trust your dog when your dog's running up on your back and, and launching off you. <laughs> That's right. And you want to have protection. <laughs> Don't do this without something under your shirt. Most of these competitors. Like neoprene. Yep, put neoprene vests on to protect from that. But as Kirby said before the event, it is breezy out, so it is going to be up to all the handlers to make sure those discs are placed in the right spot for the dogs to catch. Wow, a lot of good inside moves and body work. Remember, freestyle flying disc is based on 100 points total. The dog skills, the handler skills, it all comes into play as Hocus Pocus and Ellie Stivers wrap it up. 87.7, so they will move comfortably into the lead. Very nice. Bazooka and Matt Bilderback now come out to try to beat that 87.7. And Bazooka, a mini Aussie, four years old, you can do this with any breed, any size. The handler just has to work to the dog's strengths and abilities. Some good moves here, working together. The catch and release, always a tricky one for dogs to get the disc and let go so quickly. They competed in our Eastern Regionals in St. Petersburg, Florida. Here now trying to get the national title. Now, when they catch the disc, Nine that seconds. does matter. Catch versus drop, because in the event of a tie, Trace, that catch, catch percentage, percentage yep. is what breaks the tie. So Lourdes Edlin and the judges keeping a keen eye. I like the move there. Nice throw. Good catch. He likes it. Very good routine. Yes, indeed. So Matt Bilderback is psyched. 88.4. So Bilderback and Bazooka now take over the lead. And here's Torch and Kirby McElveen, as we mentioned, many time Western Regional Champions. In fact, four times they've won the Western Regionals. Yeah, lots of experience here. She's been competing since 2009. She started when she was 15 years old. So she's grown up with us here at the IBC and has really become a great competitor. One thing missing from the resume, a national championship. <laughs> she hopes to add that <laughs> here today for sure. 
Kirby says that Torch is very powerful. He's crazy for the disc and has a desire to work as a team. And again, this event is more about teamwork than any of our other events because they're each getting judged. And I always look forward to what color hair Kirby will be rocking every competition. <laughs> it's different every time. That's so true. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's purple. She's got a little maroon look now. But she's got great handler skills, and you can see the athleticism there coming out in Torch. McNabs are a strong herding breed, and they've got a lot of energy. So the four-time Western Regional Champions wrap it up. A couple last little fun tricks to cap things off. And they've done it. They've won the most coveted title, the Incredible Dog Challenge National Championships. High scores for both the dog and the handler, giving them the win. Great catches, moves. It was an awesome routine. No doubt about it, Shaleen. Torch lights it up and earns a national championship title. They're on the field with Sean Smith. Yeah, guys, I'm super psyched to be down here. I'm probably even more excited than you. You're one of my favorite competitors. You've won four different times in the regional events, but this is your first national championship title. I mean, talk about your dog out there catching everything today. Um, Torch is absolutely on fire. Um, I was actually a little off today, but Torch saved us. I mean, he really brought it today, and he won it today. He's the champion. Would you say he carried the torch? Yes, he did. <laughs> Congratulations. Great job. And now you're a national champion. Yeah, we're excited. Thank you so much. Awesome. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sean. A big win for Torch as we get ready for small dog agility. Fetch it and incredible diving dogs to follow right after this. Stick around. Well, we continue to celebrate 20 years of the Incredible Dog Challenge. This back in 2010 from Whistler, Canada, when we took the challenge onto snow right before the Olympic Games in Vancouver. And this fun head-to-head -head slalom ski race where dogs took on former members of the Canadian Alpine team. Jeff you better pour it on, coming up, making a charge at the last second, but the 10-year member of the Canadian Alpine And of course, the dog won. Perhaps we'll see that event in the Olympics someday. As we welcome you back to the National Championship Finals of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge from Grace Summit, Missouri. And Pro Plan, of course, was here to provide samples for the fans outside of the competition area. They also learned about the latest unique Pro Plan formulas and found out more about the science behind the nutrition of Purina Pro Plan. And many thanks to their incredible partnership over 20 years of this competition, the Incredible Dog Challenge. Well, this is our only timed and judged event, so the handlers have to work their dogs through the set course of obstacles. If any mistakes are made, then time penalties will be assessed. Let's get right to the action. All right, the field is ready for the small dogs in this agility competition. Lyric and Cindy Glover. Shaleen will kick things off in the small dog agility competition. A lot of national champions named so far. More to go. You've already seen the large dogs compete on this course. It's the same setup. It's still judged and timed. You can see our judge on the field, Jennifer McDonald, watching to make sure that everything is done right. Speaking of that, a bar just down that will add five seconds to the total length of their run. So they want to go fast. You can hear that encouragement out on the field. The communication is the key between the dogs and the handlers. They have that one fall, so five seconds already added on. Coming to the final couple of obstacles before they cross the finish line, and there you have it. So five seconds added on, 43.3, still a good pace. And just nicking that bar and having it come down cost her five seconds. So the pace is set after our first competitors. 43.3 is the time to beat Angie Benequisto in her dog Sunday. These are your 2017 Eastern Regional Small Dog Agility Champions from our event in St. Petersburg. Sunday is a mixed breed, and you may notice that the height of the jumps is different. That's because the height of the jumps is set to the height of the dog at the withers, which is at the top of the shoulder blade. So our first dog, Lyric, the bars were at 16 inches. For Sunday, they are at 12 inches. The tire is also adjusted for height. Angie says Sunday has small legs, but her legs can really move and cover ground well. 
Yes, she is. Very quick. Biggest strengths are her drive and her joy for the sport. Got to have some joy right there. A clean yeah, run. Yeah, they should be happy. Zero faults. 34.07. That was a blazing run. Big smiles. Everything done right out on the field. Look at that. Skimming the bar. Of course, if you can get over it low and fast, that's going to shave off fractions of time and keeping it clean. All right, we'll see if this team can navigate through the course quick. Kirk and Shannon Fosty. And as you can see, Kirk is a little bit small for a Border Collie competing here in the small dog category as opposed to the large dogs. They are our Western Regional Champions from Huntington Beach. Wow, look at this run. So dynamic and quick, Shalene. Yeah, the only place that you're going to see this dog slow down is on the teeter waiting for it to hit the ground because she has great running contacts coming off of the obstacles. Watch this on the dog walk. Boom, just runs straight through it. Nice, a great run. Zero faults so far. 34.07 is the time to beat. And there is your new leader, 33.69. Just keeps getting faster and faster, going through the weaves in small dog style, on course to every obstacle, up and over the dog walk, hitting those contacts with a full run. Final competitors in small dog agility, Pixel and Amy Sheffield. They are our defending national champions, so they're here today Almost. trying to take that title once again. Now listen to the communication. Yeah, really working together. So that shows that Pixel works well with verbal commands. <laughs> and encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever gets your dog to go. Amy says Pixel is driven, obviously very fast, and loves this game like no other. Look at the dedication. They're going for it. They have to beat a 33.69. Can they do it? 34, oh. 4, 6, 0 faults, a phenomenal run, but just shy. This event, one second separated first through third place. You can see the head-to-head -head here between Kirk and Sunday, just barely off of each other. The teeter really made the difference. So Kirk, national champion, 33.69, Sean Smith, that was a tight competition. That's right, guys. What an amazing competition for the small dogs. And I tell you what, you had two clean runs on a very difficult course. What was your formula for being so clean today? Well, uh, you were right. This was a very difficult course, especially um, for us because she's so fast. I think the, the success was due to the fact that I was able to stay ahead of her sure. on course. Sure. And that's not easy to do. You mentioned such a fast dog, staying ahead of the dog. Congratulations. You're the new national champ. Thank you. All right, nice job, and two more national champions will be named today, one in Diving Dogs, the other in Fetch It. Next, when we come back to the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge National Championship Finals. Trace Worthington here, joined by Shaleen Cockrell, as we welcome you back to the National Championship Finals of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Many national champions crowned, Large crowd having a great time as we get ready for our next event. Julian takes us through it. Incredible fetch it. It's about height and distance as each dog gets a running start off of the platform with their sights set on taking down a bumper hanging out over the Purina Pro Plan pool. Get ready for fetch it. All right, taking a look back at some of the highlights, Shaleen, where the bumper began at 21 feet. The bumper has to be knocked down for the dog to advance, and then it moves out in foot increments, going all the way up to 23 feet, where we had the first dogs go out. That's right, five dogs, Volcha and last year's national champ, Reese, out at 23 feet. The remaining three dogs made it past the 24-foot bumper. Now at 25 feet, Gunner here missed the first attempt at 25. Here's number two. Oh, oh 
misses it. Falls short. A lot of times the dogs are able to correct after a miss on the first attempt to recalculate their distance and the height needed. But right there you see Gunner just falling short and not taking down that bumper. And you only get two attempts per distance as you're looking at Hudson and Amy Peterson, your Western Regional Champions in Fetch It. 25 feet. Hudson, a six-year-old Belgian Malinois. Way out there, but not far enough. Coming off of the dock, they have to be lined up perfectly straight. And again, because this is height and distance, it's really a lot for the dog to calculate to get out to be right on and taking down that bumper. All right, Amy Peterson and Hudson of California with their second attempt at 25 feet. Got it. There you go. Wow. What a leap, and definitely a correction on how much oomph had to go into that jump for Hudson. So Hudson will stay in the competition. We'll see, Hudson could win if Bo and Crystal McLaren don't get the 25-foot bumper. It all comes down to this team right here. Bo, the world record holder in incredible fetch it at 27 feet. No problem, Shalene. Not a problem at all. He is a tall dog, the Coon Hound Doberman mix. Look at that. <laughs> like over the top. <laughs> Easy. All right, so the bumper now creeps out to 26 feet. Not going to be easy. It is a battle between Hudson and Bo for the national championship title. Our Western regional champ versus our Eastern regional champ. We're not talking inches, we're talking a foot difference. And it makes a big difference. It does make a big difference, especially in this event because they have to maintain the height out that much further. Obviously, the jump went into the water that far, but maintaining the height is the key. Amy Peterson and Crystal McLaren are both dog trainers, so they know what they're doing out there as we look at the second attempt. Oh no, not able to make the adjustment. So Hudson is going to go out at 26 feet. Just falling short. Now we'll see if Bo can actually make the 26 foot mark. Well, again, Bo has that world record of 27 feet, so highly capable of getting the 26 foot bumper. Here is the first attempt. They lock this up, Shaleen. Knock that bumper down. They will be national champions. Here we go. Just short. By actually a big distance. Again, 12 inches is a lot to make an adjustment for, but Bo definitely has the strength and the power in his legs. He usually comes up high and comes down on the bumper. Second attempt. And we have Got a new champ. Bo is the national champion. It is so impressive that he is able to make those adjustments. That is truly grace in motion right there. Under big pressure, Bo prevails. And they are with Sean Smith. Yeah, you're right, guys. This dog is truly incredible. Now you have a world record with us, and now you have a national championship title. I mean, talk about this dog. Look at this. It's a physical specimen. He really is. He, um, as a puppy, he was just a clunky, chunky puppy, and he's turned out to be, like you said, just an athletic specimen. Um, He's definitely, what you picture, I relate him to Michael Phelps all the time. Well, I'll tell you what, he is built for this. Once again, congratulations, you guys. Great jumping here today. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here, and it's we're just very blessed right now. All right, thanks, Sean. One more event left, but first, here's Shaleen. Hey, thanks, Trace. Our world record jumper, Indy, is here today. Of course, she's gone 33 feet 10 inches before. Does she still have that big of a jump in her? Absolutely. I just have to have a good throw to defeat it to her. All right, so you think we, we could see that today? Yes, I'm hoping so. All right, but you got a lot of competition here. We have Hudson, who not only won Diving Dog, but also Fetch It in the pool at our Western Regionals. What are you expecting? Do you think Hudson has this big of a jump? Uh, he's a little tired this weekend, but we're out there to have fun. So I, I, I think he'll, well, we'll see how straight I can throw. <laughs> All right, well, out there to have fun. That is what it's all about. We're also going to see some big jumps, so don't go away. Incredible Diving Dog is coming up next. The Incredible Dog Challenge National Championship Finals are brought to you by Purina Pro Plan. Nutrition that performs. 
Welcome back to Purina Farms, everyone. The pool awaits our final event of the day. But first, here's what you need to know about it. It's the long jump of K-9 Athletics. Competitors get a running start before launching into the Purina Pro Plan pool. A good throw and getting as close to the edge as possible will maximize the distance. Get ready for incredible diving dogs. Highlights from earlier rounds of diving. Huge jumpers here all weekend. You know, 20 years ago, the winning jump was 20 feet. And today in earlier rounds, competitors are all in the 30-foot range, Shalene. Yeah, it really has been amazing. Not only have the distances increased, but we've seen the competitors change as well. It started out as just an event for Labrador retrievers, has turned into seeing dogs of all types of breeds. And after round two, Big Grizz right there sits on top of the leaderboard with a jump of 31 feet, three inches. Yeah, very impressive. Big Grizz and Detox got over the 31-foot mark. Three other dogs over 30 feet. This is a big competition unfolding as we are ready for our final round in Incredible Diving Dogs. And this is Story. And Story had a 29 and a 30-foot jump, so very impressive. But you got to get up there into that 31-foot range. And a catch mid-air, the perfect throw, and an increase. Wow. 31 feet, 10 inches. That was impressive. Right up to the edge on the takeoff. Then that bumper up and out and leading the dog into the pool, which is what you want to maximize the distance in the water. So Story now takes over the top spot of the leaderboard, 31 feet, 10 inches. Here's Malice and Charlie Johnson. They're further so far, 30 feet, 8 inches. Malice, a Dutch Shepherd. The baby of the group with a big jump. He's only one and a half years old and hitting that 31 foot mark as well, Trace. They'll stay in fourth. So story, our classic Labrador. Now we see a Dutch Shepherd making big jumps over the 30 foot mark into the Purina pool. So here is the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge world record holder, Indy, and Mishon Mills, 33 feet 10 inches is what they set a few years back as the world record. Let's see if they can get a title today. Not quite that far on that jump. 29 feet 4 inches. They will remain in sixth. The distance was lost on the takeoff. Look right there. All of that could have been out into the pool. They need to get up to the edge. Here once again, we see Amy Peterson and Hudson now in Incredible Diving Dogs. They did a wonderful job, second place in our Fetch It competition. Gonna need a big improvement to get on the podium. Not sure that was enough. So their best is that dive right there, 29 feet, seven inches. The dogs are retrieving. The throw is everything you can see right here mid-air. Hudson's focus is totally on that bumper, twisting his body to not get out in front of it. Instead, he wants to grab it, and I think that's what cost him more distance. And there's Big Grizz, got pushed down to second place after Story nailed that 31-foot, 10-inch jump. Big Grizz, the 2015 national champion and 2017 Eastern Regional champion. Bad throw, but still a big jump. Oh, a big jump indeed. 31.04. They won't take over the top spot again. They will be in second so far. Right up to the edge. Look at that height. Completely laid out, but the bumper ended up back behind him. He's turning his head and then does the water entry. Our third Belgian Malinois in the competition today. Now here's Craig Knowles in Detox, who you caught up with earlier, Shalene, and these guys, wonderful story, waited in line, slept overnight to get into the competition, qualified, won the qualifying rounds. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> and now they're a threat to winning the national championship title, 32-8. A qualifier coming in, smallest dog in the competition, this mixed breed, two and a half year old, with a huge jump like that, going after his disc, which was thrown out of the pool, and apparently that worked. From our judges' view, you can see Detox way out, the distance judged by the farthest part of the body to enter the water. And here are the defending national champions. Prospect, last year when they won, they had a distance of 32 feet 1 inch. Today, their best, 30 feet 7 inches. Will it be enough? What do you think of that one, Shalene? 31 feet 2 inches, good enough for fourth which means Detox and Craig Knowles, the qualifiers. 
are the national champions. What a story. Not only national champs, but one foot away from even breaking the world record. What a performance by the smallest dog in the field. What an amazing journey to the top. You got here early, you camped out, you had to wait in line to just to try to have a chance to compete in our national championship title, and you uncorked a gigantic jump. I mean, tell us about that jump and everything that went into it. You know, you know, just getting here, going against these amazing dogs that I've seen jump and that, and, you know, she's got so much heart. The, the journey's just been amazing. Um, you know, it was worth freezing overnight <laughs> just to wait for that spot to get in there. And honestly, I love it. I love her. She's just an incredible little dog. Um, so proud of her. And now, congratulations, you're the national champ. Thank you. Yeah, it's been an awesome journey. You guys are amazing here. Um, you know, fly ball was the first sport I went in with, and now it's dock diving, and I just, her biggest jump ever, and I'm yes. hoping for her to get better. <laughs> she will. Congratulations. Thank you too. <laughs> Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Sean, and what a story. And that is proof that any dog with proper nutrition and training can become a national champion. So that wraps up the 20th anniversary of the Purina Pro Plan Incredible Dog Challenge. Congrats to all of the competitors from St. Petersburg, Florida to Huntington Beach, California. You're all champions. And a big thanks to Jim Allen and the entire Purina Pro Plan team, Carson International and their crew. For more incredible videos, log on to IncredibleDogChallenge.com. For Shaleen Cockrell and Sean Smith, I'm Trace Worthington saying so long from St. Louis. This dog is out.